Have you ever had your vehicle towed? You know how frustrating it can be. When one woman had her car towed from a Memphis apartment complex, she thought it had been stolen. Yeah, but when she found out it had actually been towed to a Bihalia, Mississippi area, she called the Fox 13 problem solver, Scott Mattis. She wanted some answers. Scott joins us live in the studio with the interesting details of this one. Scott? Absolutely. Good evening, Merle. Good evening, Steve. I discovered the towing company out of Bihalia, Mississippi, who towed Geraldine Henderson's car, is towing vehicles out of the city of Memphis illegally. But what happened after we started our Fox 13 Problem Solvers investigation surprised even us. Right now, we're going to have to ask y'all to leave this private property. No, put that mic in my face again. I asked you to get that camera out of my face. Sir. Turn the camera on. No, Turn absolutely not. You're doing it. Part absolutely not. You can't I'm not go to jail. Hold it now. Welcome to the wide world of metropolitan Memphis down the road and across the freeway from the king's palace is this the warren apartment complex what's the problem formerly known as the clementine apartment complex clearly displayed here at the foot of these parking lots are signs like these my car was gone residents parking only all violators will be towed i'm crying because my car was towed Without intention, Geraldine Henderson was a violator this day. So your vehicle was parked right here in this parking spot? Yes, right here. This is where I parked my car. She tells the Fox 13 News problem solvers she went to the complex to visit a sick friend. Then less than an hour later, her vehicle was gone. Never seen a towway zone sign. I thought someone had stolen my car. Seconds later, she asked around the grounds, then asked the front office of the complex. They said to call the number of the towing company they have a service contract with. So she did. Your car is being brought to 8607 Highway 178 West and Bahia, Mississippi. Bahia, Mississippi. Yes, ma'am. They towed her car, this, her 2005 Chevy Malibu from the lot, which when we got there moments after the tow, only had four or five vehicles in it in the first place. I've been taken advantage of. I have. So I went to the front office, but of course, the door was locked. So as we continue to shoot video for this report, two hired security guards for the complex approached us. This is what happened. Right now, we're going to have to ask y'all to leave this private property. We're going to have to ask y'all to go ahead. Okay, I'm on a public sidewalk, so why don't you try and make me leave this public sidewalk? So I called and left a message with the owner of BFT Towing, the towing company who towed Geraldine's car. While I waited for a call back, the problem solvers drove the 30 miles to Bahalia, Mississippi to talk to this man, Bubba Thompson, owner of BFT Towing. While we stood here on public property, public easement off Highway 178 in Bahalia, it was moments after we arrived. Bahalia's finest arrived. This is what happened while we were rolling on the entire thing. Is this who we need to talk to? No, that's exactly you know. Turn the camera on. No, Turn absolutely not. We're doing it. Absolutely, absolutely not. not. Go to jail. Uh, you are, I cannot be on TV. Property. We are on, on public property. property. Come over here, let me talk to you. That's, that's fine. We I are on public property. Back to the story. While at the business location of BFT Towing, Geraldine made the 45-minute trip to pick up and pay a final price of $225 to the towing company to get her car back. And this is where the real problem starts, friends. I discovered through our Fox 13 Problem Solvers investigation, BFT Towing is in violation of City of Memphis ordinance. They're not even permitted to tow vehicles out of the city of Memphis. We don't show a permit for that company. Going through the city permits office here in Memphis, Vince Higgins confirmed with me, Bubba Thompson's company, BFT Towing, is towing without a permit in the city of Memphis and is doing so illegally. But that's not where this ends. Higgins also confirms the following. BFT towing is also violating the city's towing ordinance by charging well above the city's limit of $125 per tow. 
Also, his tow truck is in violation of city ordinance. As you can plainly see, it's not marked. By law, it must be fully marked to tow in Memphis. And if that's not enough, in the city towing ordinance, it is clearly described. Vehicles are not to be towed out of the city limit, which clearly, by Hillia, Mississippi, is not. Right? So to get answers about BFT towing status in Bihalia, we went down to their town hall. I shut them down. Shut them down. Scott Mattis, Fox 13 News. Do you do you guys have that information that we requested? About? Inside, I asked for the business license of the company and was told to wait for that information. Then the mayor showed up. I asked him for an interview about both the incident with police and the company operating as BFT towing off Highway 178. This is what happened. Are you going to answer any of my questions no, about this to. business BFT towing? Uh, I'm not. I'm not, no question. You're not going to answer any of my you questions. Contact our attorney. Who, yeah. Who's your attorney? He'll contact you. Are you the chief of police? No. What's your name? Gary Loon is my name. Gary, I'm Scott Mattis with yeah. Fox 13 yeah. News. I've been trying to get a hold of you for uh, several days yeah. now, and I have not heard back from right. you. I have no comment. You have no comment? No. no. We're you trying to conduct done. business up here, so you're going to have to go. So after leaving on our own terms, we paid Bubba yet another visit. But as we were about to leave with his tow truck, he blocked us into a driveway across the street. And don't put that mic in my face again. Now hold it back towards you and get it out of my face. I'm not going to ask you again. Okay. You don't have any right to take any license because you're not an attorney. You go to the district attorney of Memphis and he will explain to you he has ordered Warren Apartments and Pepper Creek Apartments to clean every car off their lot, and I have a contract with them to do so. That's all you need to do. You are not abiding by City of Memphis ordinances. You're not a judge. We then went back to the apartment complex during business hours to see if they would talk to us once again. But again, no one wanted to talk to me. Well, there was one person, but he really only wanted to talk with Alistair. You don't have any rights to tell him where to put the camera, do you? So at the end of this day, Geraldine got her car back. And not for the $300 price tag she was originally quoted. Thank you so much. And I'm calling on you again and again and again. And now, because of what the Fox 13 problem solvers discovered as a result of our investigation, the city of Memphis wants answers. Now, I contacted the Shelby County District Attorney's Office and the Memphis City Attorney's Office. Both of them tell me that they did not give special permission for BFT towing to operate in the city of Memphis without a permit. The city will now initiate their own investigation after our Fox 13 Problem Solvers report based on Ms. Henderson's case. Now, the city of Memphis Permits Office, now they want to hear from anyone who has had their vehicle towed by BFT towing in the city of Memphis. If you have had your vehicle towed in the city of Memphis by BFT towing, contact the city of Memphis Permits Office. Now, this story, Roland Steve, is far, far from oh, over. Yeah. We're this gonna... definitely has legs. Yeah. I mean, wow. the fact that there's a hundred, it's exactly $100 more than allowed the city of Memphis. I find that interesting. A. Absolutely. And B, Absolutely. the Mississippi Attorney General's Office got to know about what's going on here, especially with that police department. Uh, police are definitely uh, interested in not only this story, but other towing uh, organizations uh, around the Mid-South, but I want to uh, engage anyone that's watching tonight to log on to MyFoxMemphis.com, scroll to the bottom of the front page and go to the Problem Solvers icon, click on it. There you'll be able to see the full-length version. We weren't able to air the entire story here tonight. You know, there there are some very, very fine people in Bihalia, Mississippi. There and are. We, we don't want anybody to think that there aren't, but and so saying, I am sure they have questions for their mayor and police chief. Absolutely. That does not represent some of the fine folks that live there, the way they treated you. That's a great point, and that is part of the reason why we're going to continue to follow this story and bring you an update. Watch for that, folks. Wow. All right. Thank you so much, Scott. You got it.